Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GPSE Network. Now in this video we will discuss about the, some of the most important questions of the irrigation engineering. In the first part we discuss about the first 50 questions. Now in the second part we discuss about the second 50 question 51 to 100. Before the starting of this video I would like to request you all to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the more updates and share it as much as possible. Now the 51 question is the drainage coefficient depends upon the what? The right answer would be D all of the above. It is depends on the waterfall. It also depends on the type of the soil, type of the crop. Now the next question is the recommended value of the drainage coefficient is the test percentage of the average rainfall to be removed per day. The right answer would be B 1 percentage. Now the next is which one of the following is a not layout of tiles drain? The right answer would be A French drain system. Now next is in a tube well irrigation system the best method of pricing is the, the right answer would be C volumetric method. Now the next is the basic factor which controls the process mentoring is the right answer would be D all of the above is the discharge, bed and side resistance and the also well slope. Now the next is a diversion head work is to the right answer would be D all of the above it is the reduce the fluctuation in the supply level of the water rise up the water level of the head of the canal to regulate the intake of the water into the canal. The right answer would be D. Now the next is a weir is generally aligned at the right angle to the direction of the river flow because it is economical, it is need a less length of the weir, it is gives a better discharge capacity. The right answer would be D all of the above. Now the next is a solid construction across a river to rise its water level and divert a water into the canal is known as a weir. The right answer would be C. Now the next is Okla weir is on a Yamuna river in the Delhi it is the example of what? It is the example of the rock fill weir. weir. Now the next is normally the difference between the crest level of the under sluice and the crest level of the weir it is known as or it is about the A 1 to 1.5 meter. The right answer would be A. The, the next is the function of scouring sluice is to the right answer would be D all of the above. It is the control the silt entry into the canal past the low floods without dropping the shutters of the main fear to scour the silt. The right answer would be D. Now the next is a fish ladder is, is the right answer would be C a structure which is enable the fish to pass the upstream right answer would be C. Now the next is the canal head regulator the canal head regulator it is the regulate the supply of the water entering the canal control the entry of the silt in the canal prevent the river flood from the entering of the canal. The right answer would be D all of the above. Now the next question is if V1 is the velocity of flow and the Y1 is the depth of the horizontal bed and the incoming flood number it is about the V1 divided by under root of G Y1. The right answer would be D. Now the next is a hydraulic jump is a form when the right answer would be right answer would be C supercritical flow strike again in subcritical subcritical flow. Now the next is the loss of head in a hydraulic jump is a given by it is the most important question my friend. The right answer for these questions is C Y2 minus Y1 is wall rest to 3 divided by 4 y1 y2. Now the next is 
according to the blake crypt theory the percolating water follows the the right answer would be a outline of the base of the foundation now the next is which of the following is a wrong statement about the brick grip theory the right answer would be d on the upstream side floor thickness should be designed carefully now the next is the suggested weightage factor for the horizontal to crib vertical crib by the land is about 1 by 3 the right answer would be b now the next is the loss of head per unit length of the crib it is called as the percolation coefficient the right answer would be d now the next is according to the khosla theory the undermining of the floor start from the the right answer would be d it is tail end now the next is according to the khosla theory the first streamline follows the bottom contour of the structure and the remaining streamline follows the smooth curve the transmitting the slowly from the outline of the foundation to a right answer would be c a semi elliptical curve now the next is the parabolic glaciers the type of flow fall is known as it is known as the montague fall the right answer would be c now the next is the type of the fall which consists of an inlet well with the pipe at its bottom to carry a water to a downstream well is known as it is known as the cylindrical fall the right answer would be a now the next is the fall consisting of the convex and the concave the curve is known as it is known as the ogi fall now the next is the fall that is suitable for the high crops with low discharge it is known as the well type the right answer would be c now the next is dash fall can be used for all the discharge when the drop is more than 1.5 meter the right answer would be a buffel type now the next question is the canal fall which is the quite satisfactory but to become obsolete due to the high cost the right answer would be b rapid now the next is which of the following statement is wrong here the four statement is given out of the four statement the statement number four is this wrong the right answer would be d is the simple vertical drop type falls are known as a well type falls now the next is which of the following is a wrong statement about the head regulator the right answer would be the a when the water level main channel is a low and it helps a heading of water it's wrong now the next is the hand operated gate of the cross regulator can have a span of it is a span of the 6 to 8 meter the right answer would be c now the next is the crest level of the distributary head is generally kept at the dest higher than the bed level of the parent channel the right answer would be a 0.3 to 1.0 meter now the next question is the minimum capacity of the escape channel is kept as dest of the channel capacity the right answer would be c 1/2 now the next is the outlet through the which of the discharge depends upon the difference of the head between the distributary and the water course it is known as the the right answer would be a non modular outlet now the next is in a flexible module the discharge depends upon the what now it is a de depends upon the water level of the distributary right answer would be b now the next is the gib module of the drainage it is what it is the it is independent of the all above it is independent of the water course only or distributary only or both the above it is independent for all now next is the ratio of the rate of change of discharge of the outlet to the rate of change of discharge of the distributary channel it is known as 
the flexibility right answer would be a now the next is an outlet is said to be a proportional when the ratio of the rate of change of outlet discharge to the rate of change of the channel discharge it is the right answer would be b it is equal to unity now the next is for a rigid module sensitivity it is about the zero right answer would be a now the next is a pipe or orifice type outlet it a proportional if the outlet is fixed at the dash times the depth of below the surface water the now right answer would be the a 0.3 times now the next is for all the wheel type outlet to be proportional the outlet should be set as the dash times the depth of below the water surface right answer would be it's d 0.9 times now the next is the ratio of the rate of change of discharge through the outlet to the rate of change of water level of the distributary referred to as the normal depth of the channel is known as the sensitivity the right answer would be b now the next is the ratio of the depth of the water level over the crease on the downstream step of the module to the depth of the water level of over the crest on the upstream of the module it is known as the drowning ratio the right answer would be d now the next is which of the following is a non modular outlet the right answer would be b submerged pipe outlet now the next is which of the following is a type of semi module outlet the right answer would be the c future flume now the next is which of the uh, following statement is a uh, uh, is about a siphon aqueduct the right answer for this given questions is a d hfl of the drain is sufficiently below the bottom of the canal right answer would be d now the next is the cross drainage work in the which of the drain is taken over the canal such that the canal water runs below the drain freely is known as the a uh, super passage the right answer would be c now the next is which of the following statement is wrong here the four statement is given out of the four statement the statement number d or 4 it is wrong the number of inlets and outlets should be always be same it is wrong now next is by greater of flowing the canal is the right answer would be the a both a and b are correct here the two statement is given the width of the aqueduct is reduced and the length of the transition wings is increased the both are correct the right answer would be a now the last question is the total depth of the water store in the irrigation tank rarely exceeds the right answer would be this question is c 12 meter it is the last question of this video i hope you you like this video and share it as much as possible thank you for watching this video